Hi guys, it's the Power BI guy and today I have a really neat trick when it comes to card visuals in your reports. So let me just show you. In your report page you tend to have card visuals that summarize data. Now the breakdown of that can be in other visuals or with this trick what you can allow your users to do is select a card, for example customers, and then they have a pop out that shows a visual related to that. Now that's one way we could do it. Another is a drop down. So they select the card and then they can see the breakdown of that card in another visual without having to look at other tables or other, other visuals and other pages. They can just select the card and then see a breakdown specifically related to that. So there's two ways we can do it as a pop out like this or we could have it as a drop down. And there's a lot of scenarios where you can use this. Um, someone in my organization did this and I really liked it because never thought of it and I thought let me share this on, on the channel it's a really smart idea in what it allows you to do without having to cram your report page with more detail so without further ado let's start this guide so let's go ahead and create the first pop out so what we want to do is create our card visual uh, let's bring in just put cells in there and now we have to create the pop out so the first thing we're going to do is select insert and then shapes and then bring in a square. Now we want to change the color of this to be transparent so it looks like a pop out. So we're going to go to style, make this the same as your background and then I'm going to turn the transparency up. So make sure it's not fully, fully gray, it's not on zero so it doesn't block it. We want it to look like a pop out so it's transparent over the card. And once we've done that, we can insert a visual which is the detail so I'm going to insert a visual, let's put it, bring in uh, cells and then by segment. And there's one more thing we want to do is let's, we need a back button so I usually can go back to the report page. So we go to buttons and then let's bring in reset and put that into the top right. There's a border on this, so let me turn that off. And now we have our pop out. The next thing you want to do is select view, uh, go to selection and then put this, uh, uh, these, this pop out into a group. So what I'm going to do is select the visual here, select the background by holding shift and then I want to actually select the button as well. So I'm going to hold control in the selection pane. Now if we put this into a group, I'm going to call this uh, group one. Uh, let's call this pop out uh, cells. So we have our first group. Now what we can do is create a bookmark that takes a snapshot of the page as it is. So we select bookmarks and then add as it is right now. So we're going to add and call this cells pop out open. Now the next thing we want to do is turn off uh, in selection the pop out and take another snapshot. So we're going to select add in bookmarks and then call this cells pop out closed. So we can see if I select open, now we need to enable this once again so make sure we can see this. So now if we select open, this opens a bit buggy, but if we delete that now, enable the pop out so we can see it. Add, call this cells pop out open. And now if we switch between closed and open, we can see that it's working. But what we have to do is on top of our card visual, because we can't do an action on a, on a card visual, we need to insert a button. So button, blank, and then if we just turn off the border, let's turn off the border and bring this over our card. We can now select the button, turn on action, select bookmark, then the open uh, pop out. So this was the bookmark that was open. And if we select that, this is going to open our pop out. And what we want to do is select our button. So we want to make sure we select our button that we did for the close, turn the action on bookmark and then closed. So now if we select that, it should close. Oh, I might have selected the wrong. I might have selected the wrong bookmark. So let me go back once again. Check the action. Yeah. So cells pop out closed, and now if I select this, it's closed. So now we have our first pop out for one of our card visuals. And following that same principle, we can do a different style of card. So let me copy this. Let's bring that there. Now once again, for this drop down card, what we want to do is insert a shape. Let's drop this. Put this over that card whatever size we want to do, make the shape uh, color white and then bring in our visual. So I want to turn off the, let's leave the board on for this. So I'm going to create a visual now. So let's do sales by, let's do sales by uh, shipping mode, for example. 
So we have our second drop down. Once again, we need to create a group. So I'm going to select the visual, select the card, right click on the selection pane, group. Let's call this drop down. Uh, once again, we need to insert a button so that we can close it. So reset. Oh, made that a little bit smaller. Let's bring that that button into our group. So where's that uh, card? Where's that button? Oh, so it's already in our drop down. Nice. And what we can do is once again create a bookmark that says drop down, drop down, open. And then if we hide that drop down let's create another bookmark drop down closed insert a button over our card set a button over our card turn off the border turn enable action bookmark select our bookmark so drop down open if we select that you might need to hide it uh, and then for our button if we close it so action, bookmark, closed. If we now select this, it should close it. And if we select, so the drop down opens always a bit buggy. So what we need to do is delete that one. Uh, enable the drop down so it's open. Take the bookmark once again. So drop down, open. So let's close this and then action that bookmark. So drop down, open. And now our bookmark is working where we have that additional detail. It's very easy to implement and it's very powerful in your reports. So without further ado, I hope this I hope this helped and you can think of some cool scenarios to use this. It's the Power BI guy and I'm checking out.